the way I sort of explain the way that stress affects the body um, fight or flee. Um, and in Hi everybody and welcome to the Kimmy Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath and co-founder of the Kimmy Disease Solution and Chiogenesis Fiona Chin and I'm joined again today by another amazing naturopath, Emily Carhill. And so why don't you just, why don't you start, Emily, with a bit of a definition of what you perceive and, you know, if a patient came in and you're thinking, well, they're, and they're stressed and they may not have recognised that. So what what is it? What is stress? Like, what does it look like? How do we define it? And how do we know if our patients are stressed? I think there's a few different things we need to think about when we're um, assessing stress or talking about stress, because people often, I'll often have people, um, clients coming in, and when I start to talk about their stress levels, oh no, you know, my stress isn't very high. Um, you know, I can. I can manage it, all those sorts of things because people perceive stress as just being that, that feeling of feeling stressed or overwhelmed, like that sort of, I guess, emotional connection to what they think stress feels like. And yes, that's certainly a part of stress and it's certainly something that we talk about, but we also need to look at stress, you know, in its bigger context, which is anything that is um that i guess is stressful on the body or anything that puts the body out of balance or anything um, that the body needs to work harder to deal with so yes uh, our emotions are definitely a massive part of that and that can definitely affect our physiology of our body but also the food we eat can potentially be stressful on our body um uh, the toxins that we're exposed to is another form of stress physical activity um too much or too little can be stressful on the body so why don't we talk about what is the pathophysiology what happens to the body when it is under stress both acute and chronic and what is the difference between acute and chronic stress uh, so acute stress is uh i guess more short term so a shorter term period stress as opposed to chronic being you know generally and it's sort of looked at as greater than, you know, three months, say, um, of being in a stressful period. The way I sort of explain the way that stress affects the body is um, talking about the effects that it has on our nervous system. So we've got two parts of our nervous system. We've got our sympathetic nervous system and we've got our parasympathetic nervous system. Our sympathetic nervous system is um, known as, you know, our fight or flight so in periods of stress or busyness or um, overwhelm or whatever it is, it's our sympathetic nervous system that switches on and that then has this um, myriad of different effects in the body. So we start to increase some of our, uh, secrete some of our stress hormones, so things like um, adrenaline or epinephrine, mm -hmm. so, um, to remember that, and noradrenaline and things like cortisol as well, which are all the hormones that get excreted in the body in stress. In the short term, um, our sympathetic nervous system, the effects that it has on the body can be really beneficial because what it's basically doing is setting you up to either um, fight or flee. Um, and in, you know, in that sort of situation, if you say were, you know, running away from a saber toothed tiger you want to either be able to get away or you probably don't really want to fight it. So really you just want to run away. Um, <laughs> and your body's going to put all of its energy into doing that. And part of when it does that is it starts to um, reduce the function or shut down certain other areas of the body that aren't necessary to your survival. Um, so things like our reproductive system and our hormones and our gut, like it doesn't matter if you're digesting your food when you're trying to run away from that tiger um, you know, all of those sorts of things then uh, don't function sort of as well or properly in those situations, which is fine if, you know, it's short-term stress and you run away and then five minutes later uh, things are back to normal. And so then those levels of those hormones start to reduce and we can go into our parasympathetic nervous system, which is kind of our um, rest and digest side of our nervous system. And that's when all the repair gets done in the body. That's when um, we're able to, you know, break down and absorb our food properly, all those 
sorts of things. But if we're constantly in that over busy, stressed, uh, running from one thing to another sort of um, phase, then we're always in our sympathetic nervous system and that's when the problems uh, start to arise. If you've liked this video, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the like button. That means you'll get uh, notified anytime we create new content. And thank you again for joining me and sharing your wisdom with everybody. And um, yeah, I think I said hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.